Do you run a small business and struggle while creating customized invoices? Well, we have launched a new feature, Custom Theme, a powerful tool for small businesses to create customized invoices like never before in my billbook software. Hello everyone. My name is Prem and I'm here again with a new video. With this feature, you can customize your invoices by changing their font, size, layout and much more. Let me give you a walk through so you can understand it better. In order to create your own invoice theme, we have to click on settings. Under settings, we'll click on invoice settings. Once we land on invoice settings page, here we can see an option of create your own theme. Once we click on it, we'll be redirected to create our own theme. Here we have three options. First one is theme settings. Then we have color and font style. And at last we have print setup. Let's see them one by one. But first we'll edit the headers, which are business and invoice details. Once we click on edit, we'll be redirected to this layout page. From here we can select any of these three layouts. Once you choose a layout, you can move ahead with business details. Under business details, the first thing we have is a logo toggle button. If you wish to show the logo on the invoice, you can toggle this button on or you can toggle it off. Also, if you want to change the logo, you can click on cross button and then choose a file which you wish to upload as a logo. Next, we have our business name. If you wish to change the business name, you can change it from here as well as if you want to change your business name's font size, you can select from the drop down list. Next, we have all the details which are available under business details like address, GSTI and mobile, PAN and email. If you wish to edit these fields name, you can do that so from here. Also, if you wish to show them, leave these I buttons as they are. If you wish to hide them, you can click on this I button and hide that call. Also, if you wish to change these details font size, you can click here and change the font size as well. Next, we have invoice details. Once you click on it, you can change these invoice details. Under invoice details, all the fields which are by default entered cannot be edited, though you can only show or hide them from the invoice. Along with that, the custom fields that you created, once created cannot be edited, you can only delete them or hide them. If you wish to add a new custom field, you can click here, add custom field and add a new custom field from here. Along with that, you can enter a default value Next, if you want to change the font sizes of these fields, you can click on this font size and select any font size which you want to. Next, we have party details. Under party details, all the details related to party will be shown. Once again, we cannot edit these fields. We can only choose to hide or show them on invoices with this I button. Along with that, the custom fields are not editable. You can only delete them. If you wish to add a new custom field, you can click here and add a new custom field. Under ship to, if you do not wish to show the shipping address, you can click here and hide the shipping address from your invoice. And at last, we have detailed text size. You can simply adjust the font size from here. Now moving ahead, we'll click on proceed. Under theme settings, we can enter the name of our theme and the document title. Document title is nothing but the title which goes here. As it says tax invoice, we can enter just invoice. And here you can see it says invoice. If you have a slogan of your business, you can show it by clicking on this toggle button. 
and your slogan will be shown on the top right corner of your invoice. Next we have add image as background watermark. If you wish to add your business logo or any image as a background watermark, you can toggle this button on and choose your file. And once you click on open, you can see that image as a watermark. Along with that, now you can also add a footer. You just have to toggle the footer option on and you have to choose the footer file. And as you click on open, you can see the footer here. Moving ahead, under color and font style, you can choose any of the color from the available palette. Once you're done with the color, you can also change the font style. Next, we have print setup. Here, you can adjust the margin of your print page. Also, we have an option of stretch item table to full page. If you want to have a full page, you can stretch the item table. If you don't want to do that, you can simply toggle off this button. Once you are done with the changes, you can click on save template button. And as you can see, our custom theme is created successfully. Now let us create an invoice so we can understand it better. We'll go back to the dashboard. We'll click on create sales invoice. We'll add a party from here. Next we'll add an item. Click on done. And once we click on save, here we can see our invoice that we just created. Along with that, all our invoices will be shown in our current invoice theme. If you wish to change your invoice theme, you can click on invoice settings and change your theme from here. If I select stylish and click on save, the invoice that I created will be changed into a stylish theme. Thank you for watching this video till the end. To know more about the new features of My Bill Book, click on the i button. And please subscribe to our channel and don't forget to press the bell icon.